Well, I guess no one was surprised when these sucked. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 worst video games based on movies. Son, be careful about what you do next. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. It's no surprise that movies based on video games are typically abysmal, but the opposite is also very true. For this list, we'll be counting down the absolute worst of the worst offenders. Number 10, Catwoman. I hope you're not wasting my time here. No, no, no. Security cameras picked up a female with cat ears and a tail. You think it's her? Okay, so the Halle Berry movie may not have been a masterpiece. One only needs to watch that stupid basketball scene to attest to that. But the video game adaptation was certainly no better. There really was nothing to enjoy about this game, save for maybe the graphics? The controls were horrendously stupid, and the camera angles were kind of frustrating, to say the least. Nothing screams fun more than missing a ledge due to the stupid camera and having to go through the tedious, monotonous level all over again. EA put about as much effort into this game as Warner Brothers did the movie, which is to say, they did not. Number 9, Fight Club. Jesus, you okay? Fine. You're asking about Tyler Dirt. I'll tell you what you need to know. Not only is this a terrible game in every conceivable way, but it also completely misses the point of the movie. Shrinking a complex story about mental health and anarchy and reclaimed masculinity into dudes just punching each other with their shirts off. We wouldn't really mind so much if the game was actually fun, though, but it wouldn't be on this list if that was the case now, would it? The combat mechanics were ripped straight out of a fighting game from 1992, complete with basic button tapping and very limited movesets. And the graphics were laughably bad even for its time, including stoic animation and very bland environments. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not mention the Fight Club video game. Which means a lot of you have been breaking the first two rules of Fight Club. Number 8, The Golden Compass. <laughs> Honestly, was anyone really clamoring for a Golden Compass video game? Regardless if we were or not, well, we got one anyway, and we wish we didn't. Aside from the admittedly rousing orchestral score, there really are no redeeming qualities about this game. Uh. It was obviously rushed to market to coincide with the release of the film, as it's terribly unpolished, complete with atrocious controls and graphics, a snooze-inducing pace, and mismatched storytelling that does the novel absolutely no favors. We'd tell you to watch the movie instead, but that really isn't worth your time either. Philip Pullman deserves better than this. You might as well just read the book. Well, I did. Number seven, Fast and Furious Showdown. The Fast and Furious movies have taken a surprisingly decent turn in recent years due to the high octane action, fantastic and imaginative stunt work, and even some emotion stemming from the well-defined characters. And then there's this garbage, which basically undoes all the progress that the movies have made. While the game may present us with the characters we know and love, it squanders everything else, ranging from horrible bugs to unplayable driving mechanics to repetitive missions to ear-splittingly terrible voice acting. It's a prime example of a cheap and poorly made tie-in to a popular franchise. The suits are morons. I'm here for Shaw's crew, not Toretto's. Number six, Aliens, Colonial Marines. Hype was through the roof for this game. Not only was this a new story in the Alien canon, but it featured fan favorite locations and even had Michael Bean and Lance Henriksen reprising their roles from Aliens. It was a new Bishop model, but come on, he's Bishop. We're here because we responded to your distress call. However, the game squandered any potential that it had and turned out to be, you know, a laughing stock. Barely anything in this game worked properly, such as the laughably bad AI and boring, repetitive shooting mechanics. Not to mention that the movie stars were clearly just in this for the paycheck, as there's really no heart behind anything they did. Super disappointment. I'm Corporal Hicks from the USS Sulaco. I've been held under duress for months by Waylon Yutani. Number five, Charlie's Angels. <laughs> While the angels themselves may be practical, competent, and beautiful, this game was an ugly mess that does none of that. It's so bland, boring, and easy you can play the game in your sleep, as the gameplay consists of fighting one extremely stupid and indistinguishable enemy after another before reaching point B and finishing the level. We gotta get out of here now! Speaking of indistinguishable, the game prides itself on the angel's distinct abilities, yet they don't have any. They all have the same basic moves, if we can even call them that. Like Aliens, it's also clear that the movie stars have put no effort into their performances, and the overall game suffers from their lackluster effort too. Okay, I'm here. Number four, The Fifth Element. 
In this game, you play as Mila Jovovich and Bruce Willis. At least, we think we do, because you can't really tell due to the laughable graphics. Yes, these were even bad by 1998 standards. The game also featured astoundingly bad gameplay mechanics, including the classic let's all attack individually while the rest of us stand around and chit chat AI, and a lack of any sense of precision in the aiming. Seriously, all you had to do was aim in an enemy's general direction and they would drop dead. Couple this with the boring gameplay, insultingly easy puzzles, and messy sound design, and you have one god-awful game that you should definitely multi-pass over. Lilu Dallas multi-pass. Number three, Street Fighter, the movie. <laughs> Nope, we are not mistaken or confused. Yeah, they actually made a video game based on the movie, which was based on a video game. And no, we definitely do not know why, but we can tell you that it was every bit as terrible as the film, if not more so. The PlayStation version of the game was basically a port of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, only with awkwardly digitized characters from the movie inserted in, along with frequent slowdown and messed up hitboxes. Even worse was the arcade version, which had incredibly stiff controls, and that makes the game even more frustrating. Number 2, Rambo the Video Game If there's one action franchise that deserves a good video game adaptation, it's Rambo. Whether he's sneaking his way through a forest or single-handedly obliterating Vietnamese villages, Rambo is always a badass, and if you think that controlling him would be an absolute blast, well, you are wrong. Behind you! The game might have been fun if it was released in the arcades in 1997 with a light gun, but the rail shooting mechanics make a sorry excuse for a game in 2014. Couple that with the poorly mixed dialogue lifted straight from the movies and the dumb cut and paste enemies, and you have a game which looks and feels really cheap. John Rambo had scrambled out of much darker places in now. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Let's get out of here! Move, people! Damn! There's a whole other thing thing going on here. You two could catch up later. We gotta fly after whoever did this. Leave some for me. Number one, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. While we feel bad for beating a long dead horse, there's no denying that E.T. deserves all the hate it received. We mean, it helped crash the entire video game industry due to its immense failure. And that's quite a feat. This game is almost unanimously agreed upon to be the worst video game of all time due to its terrible, well, its terrible everything. And it was such a failure that unsold copies of the game were literally buried in a landfill. The Smithsonian has even added an excavated cartridge to its collection due to the notoriety that E.T. started. This game was done in five weeks. There was no time for tuning, there was no time for that. E.T. started the horrific trend of poorly made video game adaptations, and it remains the worst one over 30 years later. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.